Morning all, happy Friday. I hope you are well. So, my only golden sliced. It's that time. I've got to crack a new tin. I'm going to be smoking my most recent. LCS, about billiard, and uh, we have a 100 gram tin, which appears to be from 2019, which is uh, just about a perfect age, I think, for uh, Orly Golden Slice. Uh, let's see what we can use. That smells really good. It's not pitch black dark, but it's darker than the fresher um, than a fresher tin would be. <clears throat> I showed this last night in a video. Um, this is a, a tin of Dunhill Navy Rolls from 2011, which I opened by mistake. And the colour is unbelievable. And the aroma is very, very rich on it as well. Look at the difference. How dark this has got over time. You can see the paper, how brown it is there. Anyway, um, but this one, if you're familiar with all the golden slides, you can see this is a shade darker than it usually would be um, if you were opening, opening a fresh tin. It's, it's like it's taken on a patina almost. Um, you can see it's got a, a darker shade of brown. Um, it's got a great aroma. <clears throat> it's a fruity, sort of somewhere between plum and apricot. With a little bit of um, sort of acidic kind of note to it. A little bit of a, a sharp, tangy note to it, which is exactly what I like. So first off, we're going to take some off for this morning's smoke. And then we can take out the belts. This is a 100 gram tip. Let's just take the whole thing out. So with the 100 gram tins, you don't get slices, you get long belts, which I really like. They're about a foot and a half long. And I literally like to just pull off a chunk from the middle somewhere. I think last time I managed to get 100 grams in this little jar, but it didn't last very long to be honest. Um, it's a daily smoke, so. Okay, that folds in really nicely and it's not too badly squashed in there and uh, it'll loosen up in due course. There'll be enough room in there for it to breathe a bit more. <clears throat> I need to think up of a, a use for these. I mean, I do have lots of them dotted around with little trinkets and them, you know, odds and ends. But um, it's such a shame, it's such a useful size. I really want to think of something a little bit more useful for these. Anywho, I mean you do see a lot of people in their workshops that have them, they have them, uh, you know, the lids. They screw the lid to the wall, sometimes underneath a shelf, and then you can just take the container down like that and take out wherever it is you need. Um, I'll, 
onto a wall wouldn't be helpful because when you take the thing off everything would fall out but underneath the shelf that is really where it needs to be I might do that when I do my workshop finally at some point all right well there we go let's uh, get this ready for for smoke humidity is actually bang on Hopefully I will get my filters today. We had a postal strike yesterday. I was supposed to get uh, <clears throat> an order from GQ Tobaccos. I ordered two big boxes of filters. Uh, I'm almost out now. And I also ordered uh, a little bit of tobacco for a good friend over in the States. Um, I've actually got a couple of orders that I need to send out um, for people. So hopefully that will arrive today. Nice to have a full jar. Stay there. Okay. Let's get the extractor on. And let's fire it up. It's going to take me a couple of minutes to really get the flavours because I've just brushed my teeth. Alright, well, I'm going to wish you all well. Have a wonderful weekend. I've actually got a busy weekend this weekend. Family do. My nephew's getting married next week. And the festivities start tonight. We're all going over for a meal to my sister's house. Anywho, wish you all well. Have a great weekend. Catch you on the next one.